everybody! Welcome to Little Street Pottery. Today we're going to make a pinch pot project. We're going to use that technique to make the top of this vase. And the cool thing about this top is it rattles. The inspiration for this project comes from Julia Galloway, who's one of my pottery heroes, and she's the one that taught me how to make these rattle tops. Let's get started. The first thing I need to do is make a vase for the lid to fit into. top of the vase, I'm going to go ahead and cone in the neck for the lid to fit into, and then I'm going to widen out the very, very top. Now I'm going to flute the rim, just for a little decorative touch. Once I get the fluting just the way I want it, I go back to the opening in the vase and re-round that out, make sure it's totally round, and I take a quick measurement of the opening so that when I make my lid, we want to make the lid a little bit larger than that opening so it doesn't fall through. Next we're going to make the beads for the rattle. I'm just going to roll them around on the table until they're nice and small and round. I make about 10 to 20 of them and then let them dry until they're bone dry. Now I'm going to cut out two identical discs of clay. I'm going to start pinching them from the very center using my thumbs and a little bit of water. I'm just gently stretching them out into a nice bowl shape. Remember to keep an eye on how big they get. We want them to be a little bit bigger than the measurement that you took from the vase, but not too big. We also want to make sure that the edges don't crack or split, because when you're stretching the clay, they can get kind of dry and, and have a tendency to split. So do the exact same thing to the second disc. Compare it to the other disc just to make sure that it's uh, the same size and that the edges will fit together. Then we'll take the serrated rib and score. You want to score each half of the lid and then slip both halves of the lid. Then we're going to insert the bone dry beads into one of the halves and then connect the seam. We want to pinch the seam it's nice and shut, you want to make sure that you get a, a really good connection. This also traps air inside of the rattle. Now I'm using the table to help round out the lid. That'll also help to smooth the clay out as well. To finish it off, I'm going to use a rib to make sure that the lid is nice and round and the clay is nice and smooth. Now I'm going to make the handle. I'm just rolling out a coil. The size of the handle is up to you. In fact, I think I started out with a larger handle for this project and I end up cutting it down. Once I get the handle just the way I want it, I score the top of the lid exactly where I want it and score the handle. And this time I'm just going to slip the bottom of the handle 
and not the top of the lid. If you slip both sides, it may not join together right. Uh, the handle will just slip right off. I'm going to use the brush to reinforce the seams, and then I'm going to just make a little coil to reinforce that seam even more, and it'll also add a nice decorative touch. You know, I think my handle was just a little too, too long, so I went ahead and cut it down a little bit. Here's our completed rattle lid. Let's see if it fits inside the vase. Perfect. I'm very happy with that. And here it is finished. I went ahead and fired it to cone 5. The cool thing about this lid is it's very versatile because it has a rounded bottom. So I can actually fit this lid down onto several sized pots. Here's my completed handle. I think it looks really nice in the vase. If you like our videos, please subscribe and let us know in the comments below what other projects you'd like to see. If you like the way I decorate my pieces and you want to learn more about underglaze painting, please be sure to check out the links below to my video workshop series. Thanks for watching. See you next time in the studio.